Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Kanoa 2. Luna uh, Lu Luna Tees Luna Tees Vale. And I am joined by me, Fluffy Talk to Alex. You're not showing the game, Fady. Alright, yeah. Uh... I sort of miss the, the time frame where games would have a demo reel. Yeah. The demo reels were always nice. They were sort of funny, because it, it was the developers who were making the game making the develop the uh, demo reel, and sometimes they would do some really dumb things. And it was just like, oh! Okay. Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have no reason to complete the... The memory stuff, so I'm not going to go back and do that. Especially considering this one is... who this one's a pretty depressing portion of the game. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it chooses when it wants to auto-go and when it doesn't, and it's super annoying. Yeah, it really is. Like, I'm not doing that. Now I can. Already, they're giving you lives off the back. Yep. Like, they know you're gonna fail. Either know I'm gonna fail, or they know that I've lost a lot of lives from the previous one. Yeah. Oh, right. You can't shoot up. That's obnoxious. Yeah, it's a 3D plane. Well, it's a 2D plane that doesn't sync up. Yeah. Maybe we should try those doors on the very edge. I oh, think I will. Are like a but as you can see in the background, down. I got it. Okay. And that was the point. Because I imagine once I go through the door, I'm going to be up there and can't go down there. Hey, look at that. I was 100% correct. You can probably try to jump now with that little guy. That's true, but I have no reason to. Okay. Because I've already completed that particular thing that I was had any care over. Yeah. Bye. Wow, you just went straight through that guy. Yeah, I I imagine that some of the collision detection is a little wonky right now, actually. Okay. That's an kind of annoying thing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I get it, I get it. Yeah. 
What? You gotta jump down and do it. Oh no. Well, you wanna get close to the switch and jump and uh, do the double jump thing. Yeah, Wait. like that, but do it on the side. Oh. There we go. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's gonna get annoying. Uh, this is not the place that I thought it was going to be. I actually kind of forgot this place existed. I'm not saying this isn't going to be depressing, so... Don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet. I'm not. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Remember, there are people watching. Yeah. I bought a bow. Hmm. Hmm. What do you do? Right. I did it before I could do it again. Yeah. Then. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that shadow is where the egg is. All right. Yeah. That's strange. I I'm pretty sure I have head. to throw something at the shadow. Okay, I guess it's just a... Oh. You're just below it. That's actually infuriating. Yep. And it's gone. Well, it goes away when you go too far away from it. Yeah. yeah. That was a waste of time. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a thing I'm not going to ever collect. Yeah, because it's useless. Unless it's annoying. Pictures. So... Wait... Um, so was there a point in even going here? I think it was just for the crystals. That's obnoxious. Yep. Like, then why go up this way? I think it was just for the doll. That's bad game design. Good for exploring, but uh, kind of useless. It's mainly for completionist's sake. This entire path. That's obnoxious. I think we came for the green door. Yeah, because we have to go back because there is no other way forward. The other is, it's a yellow door. Yeah, that yellow door is where we went through that whole loop. Really? Yes. We went through there because I went up there and then it circled back around. That entire path is pointless. This is we bad went game up design. And everything. Huh? I thought we went up. We did by going through here. Oh, yeah, you're right. This entire path is pointless. 
that is bad game design. Well, not entirely pointless. It's to get the dolls. But otherwise, it's just pointless exploration. But that's just it. It doesn't make you realize it's pointless exploration. The, the, the bottom line I'm trying to get at is the entire thing of, like, going down here. Like, why go here? Like, at all. There is no point. And I think we're stuck now. So I, there has to be a way to go through. I, I have to assume that this is the way I'm actually supposed to go. Because if not, again, this entire direction is pointless. Or maybe there was a door hidden behind an enemy or something. Like, it all leads here. You do that in this game. Yeah, but I'm saying there may have been a door in that area with the two giant... Uh, Bike guys and that one enemy. That's fair. But it was not. It, like, under no circumstances was it pointed out properly. Nope. Again, that, oh, there it is. So there was a door hidden behind an enemy. Yeah, but there's no way to get to it. So we have to kill that enemy somehow. That's what I'm getting at. This guy is the only... Lightning. But you can't. Because... Well, the... we can try. Check it. What happens? What do you need to do? Yeah. Well, you could probably jump, uh, charge right into the guy and kill him with that. There's no telling. But that's just it. They, Up until this point, they've been doing a really good job of like pointing out what you can and can't do with things and I think you had to be upside down to do that yeah but uh, again like they never once pointed out that that attack or that jump is an attack well so it did break through boxes and stuff one time yeah so has a lot of other stuff that hasn't actually killed things I, what I'm getting at is that entire thing is so easily missable when up until this point they've been doing a, a either a really good job or an overly annoying job of pointing out where you need to go. I get it, that's the kind of theme of this level, but man, this definitely is not something I wanted to have to deal with. Understandable. This is one of the more trickier places. I want you to actually think a lot more and think outside the box. Which up until this point, they've never had you do. Yeah. Like, that's my problem. Well, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, just a bit. I am kind of sick of things deciding whether or not they're going to adhere to the the level mechanics just to make things more difficult. Because everything you do goes along the plane. But when you throw stuff, no, no, no. Is it or is it not a cylindrical 
plane. Like, it's hard to think outside of the box when you keep changing whether or not it's a box I'm actually thinking outside of. I imagine what they want me to do is do this. Oh yeah, wait for the guy and then uh, pop back up so you get the step ladder and whatnot. Which again, isn't exactly thinking outside of the box. Which they just, like you pointed out, they wanted me to do. So by doing that, they're conflicting their own rules. Frustrating. Yeah, this is one of the trickier levels. Frustrating, not tricky. Yeah. Frustrating for you, for me, it's more like an average Tuesday. It's not even Tuesday, though. I know. Uh, but uh, usually Tuesdays are my tricky days. As an individual who has been getting into game design and story writing and a slew of other things, this is inherently frustrating. Yeah. Alright. Um. So then, this way. You're not gonna hit the checkpoint? Nah. Okay. Remember, I'm supposed to think outside of the box. Cool. Cool. your dolls in private that way I don't have to watch you do it eh. That should be kind of somewhere near the end of the level, at least the halfway point. <laughs> so there was zero point in that other checkpoint. Oh, here comes the most challenging part. I remember this. Okay. Got it.
Oh, okay. Thinking about getting the bomb first and taking it to the other guy and uh, using him to get uh, the first uh, step. Okay, that should clear the door. Yep. Done. I kind of like some of the artwork in this place. Oh yeah, no, the background is very well made. Yeah. Like, they made the level so hard. And frustrating to trying to match the craziness of this place. They probably should have put a little more thought into that. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's that scene. Uh, Mary shatters completely. Yep. Yeah, this is what I was expecting to happen. Yeah. So I wasn't wrong in my my concern. I just didn't remember the level leading up to this point. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're going to have another level like this, or if it's just going to be the straight-up boss. It looks like it's straight-up the boss. Okay, that's good. Is it just me, or does Klonoa never open his hands? I think so far he has not opened his hands. More 
more than likely it's a limitation of the model they're using. Maybe. Because the polygons needed to have each individual fingers might have pushed the, the poly count up too high. And they would rather have the flowing ears, the moving tail, and all the other stuff opposed to occasionally being open, being able to open the fingers. Yeah. This is the only bell that makes you pass a test. And one of the only bosses that isn't the other chick. Yeah. They do actually. I wonder why they didn't do uh, a scene showing of him getting on the board and whatnot. Time restraints. Probably. Oh, that's the first one. Yeah, actually. And yeah, you don't have the use of your ring for this. But yeah, I know. At the same time, it's not that big of a. Um, alteration. Not that big of a hindrance. Well, it's, it's not that it's a hindrance, it's also just you don't do anything that would require you to use your ring. Yeah, not until the second phase. You missed it. That's weird. I flew right through it. What the hell? There. Big old bird. <laughs> or bird like creature. There are a lot of things. A bird. <laughs> There's a lot of things that hatch yeah. from eggs. Yeah. But this looks like a burb, so I'm gonna call it a burb. I mean, technically, that encompasses dinosaurs. True. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. Hovering in place, going at full speed. It's kind of hard yeah. to have this heart to heart moment when he's clearly going super fast, but not moving at all. Yeah. <laughs> then again, I would just move the tree stump, and then it would have been a little bit easier. And then just kind of have him moving across the thing. Well, the other aspect that they could have done is sort of the comic book style of having a, a cross section. One showing these two talking and the other one showing him and the bird moving. Yeah. But that's really intensive on the system. Yeah. 
For PS2, it would have been extremely hard to do that. It 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 would have. They have done it in past games, but the real aspect. Uh, the real aspect about this is that they don't really need to go that far with this. It's a good scene. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there's a chance that the bird was just creating the rin and making it look like they were doing it. I mean, that's... That, uh, if if uh, you want to, like, grab at straws, that's the way to do it. But the reality yeah. is we know that it was just them setting up the scene and there's no idle stance for Klohoa, uh, Klonoa to... Uh, okay, seriously, stop doing that. Uh, yeah. To be standing completely still his idle animation while on the board is the ears moving drastically so yeah. instead of adding extra processing to that they go this route okay we gotta grab an enemy yep Done. Oh, already? That is fast. One shot. That's why I wasn't particularly concerned with the the. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just banned him. Uh, that's why I wasn't particularly concerned about like missing all the things because I remembered that. Any world. Sorry, I'm sorry to say. Results are the thing that matter the most in any world. Your yeah. intentions behind the results don't matter at all. Because in the e end, who cares? Clearly. Oh, he had Mirror Man? Yep. To be honest, I thought it was just a tree. Well, there is the, uh, the storyline of druids growing so old that they become a part of trees, so... If he's an old shaman who became a part of a tree to protect a bell, that facilitates the same thing. I mean, it's not like any of the species really look like each other's species. Yeah. Yeah, at the time, I definitely couldn't have handled dealing with that. I'm in a much better state right now to have handled that. Yeah. Yeah. I why even listen to this guy? Trust. Yeah. This is the part that I dislike. What? He only now notices that? Yeah.
it's like I, I'm sorry, like sight, smell, hearing. Those are the the distances of things for most animals. And him being a yeah. dog, sight is actually second. He smells way before he sees anything. Yeah. Unless they uh, conveniently hid their scent a bit. But then they wouldn't have made that scene at all. True. Could have been a little bit harder to actually make the scent to smell like him. But also, like, they would have said it. But no, it was just, oh, okay, you noticed. Now I'll take off the guys. It's like, okay. Or you could have just been arrogant. Gotta hand it to the voice actors. Like, having to put emotion into words that you have never said before. Yeah. Now I forget what made her become evil. I think she was rejected as a priestess. Mm. Um, a lot like how Lulu here... Lolo? Whatever. Um, was having difficulties becoming a priestess. I think the other chick just flat out was refused. I'm pretty sure she became a priestess, but uh, uh, I'm not saying that she didn't become it. Uh, I'm not saying she didn't become it. I'm saying she got refused to maintain it. If I remember hmm. what the, the storyline is going with this. Meaning she got rejected from being a priestess. She was one, and then got it revoked. Is what Maybe. I'm thinking. Maybe. Either way, it's a better freaking reasoning than the other villain so far. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> The other one, like, the other one is like, I'm getting vengeance on them for sealing me for 3,000 years, all because I wanted to turn their world into a nightmare. It's like, you mean you're, you're upset that they did what they were probably should have done? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good fucking reason for it, dude. Like, in all honesty, I would have more been on your side if you were just like, eh, I want to be evil. They sealed me. Well, guess what? That didn't stop me. That yeah. I, I would have absolutely been more on uh, his side after that type of thing than before. Yeah. Ah. Okay, seriously? This game's already kind of on thin ice with me for all the other irritation things. Now it's like, oh well, we're gonna make this slightly more difficult. And it's just like, why? You, you literally have no reason to do so. I think it's just because it's the, uh, nearing the end of the game and they want to make things harder. Yeah. It, it's still kind of uh, transitioning from the arcade days where games were more difficult just to eat your quarters. Yeah. Uh, the mechanic I didn't like in the first one. 
Oh, right, yeah, chaos. Which does not make any sense. Okay. Ah. Oh, come on. That's infuriating. You have a spring there, yeah. but it's deliberately not high enough. Yeah. They want you to jump with the enemy and whatnot. That little bit of extra difficulty. Do not give a shit. Nope. Oh well. Like at this yes. juncture, I just want to complete it. Or beat yeah. it. Yeah. I think I'm more forgiving with games, honestly. Well, okay. So, my frustration is more out of um, oh, okay. When a game decides to give you a rule and not adequately tell you that rule has changed. Right on. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Like, honestly, this mechanic, I'm not that concerned with yet, because they make sure to put the uh, the statues in the right spots, so you just can't um, take forever. Yeah. If they put one, like, right next to the area you need to get to, well, it wouldn't be that much of a hassle. Uh, yeah, it's, it's right where it is is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's covered up. Oh, looks I, like the... I couldn't tell because they've they've not accurately told me a lot of things so far. Example. Yeah. But uh, I guess another portion of my um, frustration has got to come from the fact that it's nostalgia glasses being ripped off. Yeah. For me, it's a little bit harder to knock them off. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Got I it. see what we need to do. Yep. Uh, 
Oh, okay. I... The biggest irritation I have with this game as a whole is the double jump is tied to you expending an item. Yeah. And I feel that's something that would not translate well into modern day stuff. Yeah. It works for this game because it adds that little bit of difficulty. Well, but also, for other games, not really. Also, let's be a hundred percent honest. Oh god damn it! Um, it also comes back to the fact that, um no matter which way you're trying to look at it, this game is built around that mechanic. Yeah. I've said in other videos of mine, and I will continue to say so. I mean, this is not that hard for me to get. Um, but when the, the mod makers uh, start tweaking a game to, quote-unquote, make it more difficult by robbing you of things that the game has intended you to have... Yeah. I get really frustrated. Yeah. Um, the like, big... I understand, like, challenge uh, runs and whatnot, but uh, there are just some things that you can't really remove unless you're trying to be a, like, a, a masochist. Or, or one of those um, big chins. The type of individual who they think by puffing their chest up and showing they can do stuff that other people can't that somehow it makes them better. It doesn't, but, you know, they think that, and it causes problems. Well, to be honest, they kind of deserve a little bit of credit. But, yes. If they were able to accomplish something that was not intended for the game, and was able to do it to where, um... Okay, got it. Yeah, you needed to get that airplane yep. one. Um, so let me adjust what I'm saying so you better understand what I'm getting at. I'm not talking about the people who um, play Dark Souls with bananas and should be credited with the fact that they have done so in, quite frankly, a very awesome way. No, no. What I'm talking about are the individuals who go on to other people's um, videos to inform their viewers that they had done something better than that individual. Yeah, that's what I hate. It's like, okay, you're better than me. Did I ask? I don't think I asked, so shut up. That kind of thing. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Just. Okay. I have to wait for it to settle. Yeah. Okay, settle. Holy crap. Hmm. No, that's, that's a little frustrating. That is super frustrating. It doesn't need to do that. Nope. Doesn't need to be in constant motion. There. Uh, what? You know what? Fine. Fuck you. I'm not getting that doll then. That was just a hiccup that's not directly aimed at the game. Yeah. I think this is the part where you find out more about why she's upset. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. With the, the fact that most of the, her race looks like lions, 
That would be like calling someone a person, a human. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, hey, Homo sapien. It's like, yeah. What parent named you that? I do sort of miss these stories. Yes. Where what's causing the problems? Is someone um pushing a little too fast, a little too hard? Because nowadays, most of the stories you see are quite the opposite. There wasn't really that of uh, she was rejected. She was being a little yeah. bit too fast and a little bit too loose. Yeah, I, I misremembered. Kind of a weird thing to reject the entire world just because of that. Well, I'm sure there is a lot more to it by her going down the path of wanting to attain more power. She stepped on people's feet and those people started rejecting her from gaining that power. Probably. Like, all we saw is the first step down this path, not the rest of the journey. Yeah. And I'm very sure the rest of the journey is the what's caused her to be this mentally screwed up. Yeah. Still, again, compared to the other dude... A um, lot better. Yeah. It's like, oh, she was upset at her training going so slow, so she decided to take the fast track and lost sight of what she was going after. Yep. I like that story narrative. Now she narrative. just wants power. Yeah, I like that story narrative better than I'm upset that they sealed me away because I was going to hurt them. Yeah. Okay, dude. So you're gonna hurt them? <laughs> like, the point behind this is what now? <laughs> Then again, one thing that I've noticed um, that a lot of these older games and stories do that nowadays stories and games do differently is how much you can trust the older generation. Yeah. In this one, it was shaky. Like, there are certain individuals, like the High Priestess, she wasn't telling you the whole truth, but that's because she wasn't sure herself. So she didn't want to give you false information. Mm -hmm. um, the Sage guy, he wasn't leading you wrong, but because complete faith in him um, led you to being tricked, that became a problem. Yeah. It, it was balanced. Like, they were people you trusted, that's why it wasn't out of nowhere that getting tricked was uh, a surprise. Yeah. But nowadays games and stuff like that, it's it's pretty much, if they're an, uh, an older individual, what they're saying is wrong. And it's just like, really though? You sure that's true? Because yeah. I don't think it is. Not everyone yeah. who's a 
an older individual is wrong. That's like they've been there for as long as they've had four reasons. That was lucky. I didn't even know it was yep. moving. Yeah, you can just barely tell. I pretty much am just fast tracking at this juncture. I see the yeah. end and I want to go get it. We still got at least one arc level, one the kingdom level, and one surfing level, and the actual boss. That's fair. We might um, have to wrap this episode up after this um, portion, though. Hey, at least okay. it's not spikes. Yep. I kind of like what they did with this level, honestly. Oh yeah, so far this is, uh, this is a great level. Yeah, like I, I like the ambiance they add for actually having the whole darkness situation. I also like that me going fast is rewarded by the fact that I don't have to worry about the lights going out. Yeah. do not care about those things anymore. Yeah. The main reason why I did it was because of completionist sake. Uh, let me be honest. When I had this on the PlayStation 2, I did it as well, because you didn't have a lot of games at that time. Like, yeah. Gamefly wasn't really a thing that I could do. There. Fuck you. Um. Now, where'd this come from? Oh. I'm doing that just because if not, I'm gonna end up uh, using that item on something else anyway. Yeah. Come on. Nope. Alright, fine. <laughs> Bypassed. While I love the aesthetic of the giant blood moon, the planet would be fucking terrifying if the moon was that close. Yeah. I will say this, this game definitely wants me to, uh, uh, gets me to want to play uh, Threads of Fate. What game is that? Uh, Threads of Fate was the name of the game that I was talking about with the the main character who has a, a giant sword, which actually is um, more like a pizza cutter. Oh, okay. Um, and then the female character who is afraid of pumpkins. That's new. Oh yeah, no, she's like, in every other regard, she is the atypical uh, female uh anime protagonist super super um um kind of dumb um but very brash and she goes out of her way to um do things because she can um she ends up doing good because that's just the way it works but um She's not initially doing good to be a good person. Yeah. Um, but the name of the game is called Threads of Fate. And it's a fantastic game. And depending on which character you play, it drastically changes how the gameplay goes. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Rue, the guy with the pizza cutter, changes into monsters. Um, and how he has to gain that is different than... Hello? Hello? Uh-oh. Um, it's different than... Um, oh, there we go. Mint, I think her name is. 
um, which is the female character who learns spells and has to use those spells. Oh, apparently their word for sorrow is murder. Or murder. Oh well. But yeah, no, Threads of Fate is a fantastic game. Uh, PlayStation 2... Yeah, PlayStation 2 era. Um, the way it ends with Rue, the main character, uh, makes it feel like there's this big opening for a second game. Never got it. Mm -hmm. Never got it. Mm, that sucks. Yeah. Then again, I would prefer that over what we got with, like, Alundra. What game is that? Alundra is a fantastic PlayStation 1 game that um, you play through a, a guy who walks into people's dreams and you're fighting off a demon who has been attacking people in their dreams. Oh. Alundra 2 doesn't have anything to do with Alundra 1 at all. Oh. Like, weird. 100% doesn't even acknowledge the first one exists. Has nothing to do with dreams. Is a 3D game, whereas the first one is a top down 2D game. Um, the main character is not the main character from the first one, nor is he any of the characters from the first one. Like, it's Alundra 2 in name only. Hmm, kind of like Final Fantasy, but not. It, it's way worse than Final Fantasy. It's way worse than Final Fantasy. It's like Oof. Final Fantasy Adventures versus Final Fantasy. Hmm, that sucks. Eh, kinda. Like, the second one played kind of well. I didn't play it to completion. Or beating it, but, man. Oh, that's why you still have to fight her. Yep. If the next one's a, a boss fight against her or something like that, then we can do that. But I, I'm thinking that right now we're just... This is a good stop, stopping point. Okay. Uh, Want me to play Soul to Robo for you then? Uh, the only reason why I'm stopping now is because I still have two recordings that I need to do today because I woke up halfway through the day. Okay. In addition to that, because of the new PC coming in, I also have to make sure to get done with a course. Um. Uh, on Blender, so I'm not like okay. picking up Blender halfway through in a different uh, setting me makeup because that that will fuck my course over like so yeah. hard. Understandable. I can't remember if they did or didn't, but why isn't Klonoa? a Smash character. I have no idea. Like, his moveset feels right at home in that setting. Yeah. Like, if he honestly was a Smash character, I probably would have played him along with Sora. Okay. Like, out of all the characters I want to play in Smash, it's Cloud, Kirby, uh, Sora, and Sephiroth, and Joker. Uh, to be fair, I stopped playing after, I think, Brawl? Malay? Basically, Brawl. I, I never played the Switch one. Ah. Uh, so, uh, that would be, uh... Ultimate that you're talking about, the one on Switch. Yeah, that's the one that, like, is introducing character after character after character after character. Yeah. I, I'll say this before we end everything. I'm sick and tired of people going to Smash for their theories on characters. Because in order to take any information from Smash to be used for those characters, you have to 
disregard what Smash is in order to do that. Yeah. Smash is a child's toy box that he is making these characters fight each other. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that's why anytime someone is like, oh yeah, no, this character would do this because they could do this and Smash, it's like, yeah, and Kirby can only fly like six times. So it's not accurate. Yeah. Like, it's really not. If you're going to make theories about characters, throw it off the base. Actual games they come from. If you can. Because, let's be honest, some characters drastically shift between uh, games. Yeah. But that's also the thing of, like, it's, it's healthy to have a discussion about characters. So have a discussion about characters and back up your discussion with the portions of information you are pulling from. And then stop there. You don't need to defend your discussion point as if it is a truth. Because it's not. It's a discussion point. It's you flexing your mental uh, processing of what if. Uh, there was a guy at work that I had to deal with who would deliberately ask questions to elicit responses from people. He didn't give a shit about the, the thing that uh, was being talked about. He just wanted people to interact with him. So he would ask questions that he knew would get people upset. Because that was the mm. quickest way to get people to interact with him. Pissed me off bad. so bad. Um, I had to shut down several conversations that he started up just to get him to realize that no, while I'm around, you are not going to do that. That's not acceptable behavior in this workplace. Please stop making people upset. Yeah. I did go a little too far with it, but in one regard, it was more like, okay, you guys are starting to spin a narrative that you are in front of a computer, that we are okay with you going on the internet. This is okay for you to go up and look for the actual information. They were talking about why... Uh, Pikachu uh, says Pika Pika all the time and they start going down this path of him being like a mobster and I'm just like dudes it's an onomatopoeia like the official source says it's the sound in Japan they say when electricity is arcing it's Pika Pika that's the point of Pikachu he is electric mouse yeah. It's like, I'm okay with you guys, like, going down a rabbit hole of understanding a character from a different point of view, but that is canon lore that you're deciding to dismiss because you don't take the five seconds to go look up the information. I'm not okay with that because it is basically what we're having go on now with people attacking Powell World for no other reason than to attack it. And now there's going to be people who are like, well, it's it's this and this and this and this. And it's like, yeah, Pokemon does the same fucking thing. Like, all their Pokemon are used for food, labor, trapped in balls against their will. Like, that's the exact same thing. Yeah. But they don't go to war that we know of. They've talked about a war that's happened several yeah. times, in fact. So, just because we didn't see it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I don't know. That, it, a bunch of frustration points, anyway. Um, I'll yeah. catch you all next time. Uh, where, more than likely, what I'll do on the new PC and everything like that is me and Tracker here will, or Alex, will sit here and do the rest of the game. It'll be just a big upload and everything like that, and done. That way I can set my PC through its paces and see whether or not the game on the other end actually does better. I mean, it's hard yeah. not to do better than... Uh, it's hard to do worse. Or, no. Uh, it is hard to do better than what is going on right now. Because this game has been playing really well. Outside of a couple of hiccups here and there where the game is trying to load in a cutscene, where I'm okay with it doing so, 
it hasn't really given me much issue. So anyway, until next time, have fun, be safe, and aloha.